Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Joan Clark. I'm a licensed therapist, group practice owner, and business coach at privatepracticeworkshop.com. And uh, I'm really glad that you're here with me today. Um, if you're joining live on YouTube, we're going to be doing some live website reviews. And we're specifically looking at the hero section <clears throat> of your website. So we did this, um, did some website reviews recently, including with our guest, uh, Justin Cromer, the other day, and um, went really well. We had a whole bunch of submissions uh, for people, if you, um, yeah, people that submitted their websites for our review. So, um, yeah, I thought it would be fun to, um, you know, get further into that today and actually review some more sites live. Um, <clears throat> with that being said, let's go ahead and pull some up and let's see where life takes us. I'm just going to get to as many as we can today and, uh, and go from there. So I will say, you know, if you're here live, let me know in the chat. If you're here live and you want your website reviewed, um, I would say, let me know in the chat or drop your link in the chat and I can pull it up. I'm going to prioritize those, um, since you all are are here with me live. Um, otherwise, we're going to get right into it. So I'm going to share my screen and here we go. And um, yeah, again, if you're listening to the audio version of this, like on Spotify or iTunes or whatever, um, maybe just hop onto your device, your computer or whatever, and so you can pull this up on YouTube and uh, see what we're actually looking at. Because I think the visual here is going to be um, uh, really important for us. <clears throat> and there we go. All right, so let's get right into it. So the first one I'm doing is empowertransitions.com, and it's empoweredtransitions.com. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, one little thing that's not really a hero section thing is you have um, the, the URL is empower transitions, and then the business name is empowered transitions. So I'd be careful with that. Uh, it probably had to do with the availability of the domain, but um, I just think you could potentially cause a little bit of confusion if you're not careful. All right, first things that I'm noticing here. So we have this, this banner in the very, very top. It says several groups open for enrollment. Check the group therapy page. Now enrolling for the breakup group. If I click that, it goes to learn about the breakup group. Uh, I think that's fine. Um, and then here we have a notification about cookies. Um, I wish this was somewhere else. You know, I understand that it's, you know, that it's necessary to, to be there, but I wish that was somewhere else. So if you can put it in another part, that would be great. And here we go. First thing I notice is I can barely see the logo and I think that needs to change. If this is Squarespace, which I'm pretty darn sure it is, then that's a pretty easy fix. You're going to go into your, you know, your menu and basically expand this, make it bigger. You also much might need to get a bigger version from like your graphic designer, but logos need to be legible and they need to be legible from a distance, like from across the room. Uh, one way to do this, you know, you could think about like potentially just having the icon here, or you could have the icon on top and then empower transitions below to save space, something like that. You just want to think about redundancy in your site and you know, it says empower transitions and then it says it again here. Again, you have a version of it in the URL, et cetera. So that's one thing to think about. Now, first thing I notice is it's quite dark. There's a lot of black going on. And black is sleek, and it's a really nice color, but I think you need to include more color to really make it pop. That includes, like, your free consultation button. Like, even that, you see how much more legible that is when I just do that. I hover over your button, you know, your free consultation button. It's so much more legible. But think of if that was like a bright yellow or orange or blue or teal or whatever, that's going to, you're going to get a lot more mileage out of that button. Same thing here. Um, these buttons are a little bit gray. Like these are almost still transparent, like a really, really light gray. So that's a major problem. These need to really pop and again, be visible from the back of the room, right? Step back 10 feet away from your computer and then look at your site. And if I did that, the good news is this is really legible, helping high conflict co-parents to communicate effectively. It's interesting. I mean, you know, you're, you're super niche here if you're focusing on these high conflict co-parents. You know, even saying high conflict, you know, couples would be fairly niche. So you're even more niche than that. I'm very curious how that's working for you, if that's, you know, if that niche is working. Let's find out where you are. 
so here's another, okay. I've got your, your address here. I don't like to spend that much time trying to find your address. You know, I, I see it here, but it's really tiny. A lot of other things are taking up a ton of space. Um, so I would just potentially make that more legible again. Like I said, you can use the black as kind of like a backdrop, but what goes on top of that, I think should really pop. Um, and then again, here you have Empower Transitions Online Counseling. I think you have to really be careful stating your business name again here, because again, this is the most precious real estate of the whole site and definitely of the whole page. This hero image, this hero section really needs to do a lot with a little amount of space. Um, the image is nice. You know, you have a, a mother and her child. Um, I think if you're focusing on couples or co-parents, you know, you might want to think about uh, a couple with a child, you know. And then again, I just think from a like brightness standpoint, um, you, you can really do a lot with color here. Cool. Um, right on. Oh, well, that's not good. So we had one wildwisecouncil.com and it's not working. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep moving. Um, uh, Venus says that she's here live. So let's see if we can find her site and we sure can. Let's go straight to hers. Thanks for being here, Venus from Sydney. <clears throat> I would do a, a Australian accent, but you'd probably never come back. All right. <clears throat> All right. Some things. So, so again, we're just looking at kind of hero section. I had really high hopes for your brand here because there's something different and funky going on. Um, strike chord. It says strike chord. Again, this is just like, if I'm nitpicking a little bit, the URL, the domain is strike accord mt.com, but then the logo to me says strike chord. Maybe that's supposed to be an A deep in there on the music note, but it's really not easy to read. So I like it. It's like you're going for this music angle, strike a chord, um, music therapy. That makes sense. You have this home, this word home that is just out of place. So you got some crazy programming issues going on, you know, some crazy engineering issues with your website going on. And then same thing here, you know, is always like your main call to action is this free quiz. And that's generally not the call to action you want to prioritize, you know. Um, it looks like a nice little lead magnet, but this should really be, you know, book a free consult, book a session, get started now, whatever it is. Um, it's a lot of yellow, a lot of blank, sp blank space. So I think a picture of a person would be good. Um, but I like the idea, I like the direction, I like the brand like the branding, it's just, you know, you got to really kind of uh, tighten it up. <clears throat> you have some good copy, you know, focusing on this inner critic, stuff like that. I think it's cool. It's a very long page. You got to be careful there. So you have a good start. You just got to kind of tighten all this, this stuff up here. But yeah, cool brand, especially if you're kind of like focusing on young people. You have this, you know, you know like it's your YouTube video, which is cool. Definitely would want to check that out if I was a potential client. So um, yeah, you got some improvements to make, but you also got some really good stuff. So I'd, yeah, have a nice hero image of people there and um, <clears throat> make those other changes and make sure that the, the kind of typos are dealt with. Um, hey, Karen from New York. Cohesive Therapy NYC. Glad you're here. We're reviewing websites. Um, let's keep going. We're going to next go to yoursacredcenter.org. That's Kayla Schieber. Schieber? Schieber. Apologies. All right. <clears throat> First thing I notice. Um, okay, there's this cookie notification that's annoying. How we get rid of that. Y you know, the, the thing, and like this is also kind of a story brand thing, is the homepage, you know, the hero of your brand and of your site is the client, not you. You are the guide helping the hero win the day. So with that being said, you know, starting here with a picture of you, I think um, <clears throat> should be different, right? Should potentially be a picture of your, um, you know, ideal client, essentially. Some kind of formatting issue here, you know, like this background is kind of like fuzzy. And then we have the picture of you, which is a great picture. It's just you haven't built an argument yet 
with me about why I should say yes or why I should be nodding my head. And then we go right into what it is, mental health counseling and body healing. I actually don't know what body healing is. Again, I'm not just trying to be dense, but I don't, I don't know what that means. So you want to say what that means. For teens ages 11 and up, highly sensitive adults, parents, indigenous populations living in Washington state. Okay. So you need to develop a tagline, you know, that's about this and about how you're different. I have a feeling you're kind of an energy person, kind of a woo-woo person. Then you need to really leverage that and use that. Your sacred center, you know, your tagline needs to be something about that. What does that mean, your sacred center? So the tagline being aspirational and catchy could be find your sacred center, right? Find your sacred center again. Return to your sacred center. And then it's like, what is your sacred center, by the way? I'm glad you asked. Here it is. Um, logo leaves a lot to be desired. Again, not trying to be mean, but leaves a lot to be desired. It's really hard to read. I don't know. I can barely see that it says your sacred center down here. It needs to have more contrast, be scalable. You know, it just really needs to pop. It would be nice if you had a big call to action here in the menu, like contact is like a big bright button, you know, get started now, book a consult, et cetera, et cetera. And then I would remove the Instagram thing there, right? Because it's just, yeah. Um, <clears throat> that's not your main call to action. Instagram is not where you want to send people. And then here, you know, it's another example of <clears throat> just kind of a UX UI issue where you have book a session and it's so darn hard to read until I hover over it and then it becomes a button. So this is on the right track, but, um, you know, this needs to be a button, a big, bright, you know, contrasted button all the time and also needs to be in your menu. So, yeah, a lot of things to change. Again, the problem is your whole homepage is about you and it needs to first be about the client and their problems. And then once you've, you know, once they've, they have consent, you have consent to kind of tell them more and introduce yourself than you introduce yourself. So yeah, <clears throat> there you go. All right, going back to Venus for a second, thanks for the question. She says, my question is whether we should aim to capture our leads email address as soon as they arrive on our site, hence the lead magnet. Um, this is a great question. Now, in my opinion and in my experience, the main purpose of your site is to get people on the phone or have a book a free consult um, because we have what's called a short sales cycle in private practice. They might pull up five music therapists in your area and see all five of you and they're trying to book a consult or take that next step to become a paying client. If you're selling, you know, something that has a longer sales cycle, then you might do what you're doing and have a lead magnet and get their name and email address. And then they have, you have a long nurture sequence of emails over the next five, 10, 15 days or whatever. And eventually the call to action is to book a call or whatever. But for now, you know, again, most people are looking to purchase a service. It's like if I went to a plumber's website and their main call to action is like, take this free quiz if you have a plumbing issue. And I'm like, no shit, dude, I have a plumbing issue. You know, I got poop coming back out my toilet, <laughs> you know? <laughs> oh boy. Uh, so yeah, they already know they have a problem and they want help with it. Probably get demonetized for saying poop. All right. I have a feeling I'm going to like this one. So let's pull this, let's pull this one up. Deep, deep connections, counseling.com. You know, <clears throat> what's not to love. They're doing pretty much everything right. You can tell this has been done by a professional. That's the thing too, guys, you know, you get what you pay for. And so you have a professional do your marketing or at least build your site or part of your site. You're going to have, it's going to show, right? I like pretty much everything that I'm seeing so far. Deepconnectionscounseling.com, which matches the name of their brand. Um, great logo and great icon. Two really clear colors that guess what are happening on the whole site. Everything is branded around these two colors, right? I mean, just look how, look at how good that looks. Now, <clears throat> here's something I don't like. The, the headline is, we match you with the right therapist. That's your big promise, right? That's, 
And then after that, it says helping couples and individuals to heal, thrive, and reconnect. These are in reverse, right? These are backwards. The main tagline in the hook is helping couples and individuals to heal, thrive, and reconnect. I, I mean, if you're really focusing on couples counseling, I wouldn't even say individuals. I would just say, you know, helping couples reconnect, period. You know, because you try to get too fancy and cutesy with heal, thrive, reconnect, find yourself again, blah, blah, and it just, people just tune out. So it could be stronger. And again, <clears throat> even better, weave in the name of your business into this, right? Helping couples find deep connection again. Or even better, your tagline is just find deep connection again, period. And then underneath that, it's like couples counseling in Norfolk or whatever. Northern North North Carolina, Virginia, whatever. So there you go. You're welcome. I just gave you your new tagline. You're getting your money's worth today. And then um, calls to action look really good. You know, book an appointment, and then you have book an appointment here, which opens the simple practice widget. That's fine. It's nice and direct. And then you have get matched. So that's your kind of secondary call to action, which. Wow. I mean, no one, I don't think people are going to fill that form, right? It's just way too much. So I'm sure people do fill it out because you probably have a good bit of traffic, but <clears throat> you know, do you really have to have all this information in order to match them? We were talking with Justin last week, you know, you really want to shorten again that sales cycle and people already stress out and depressed and traumatized. And now I have to fill all this. This is really overwhelming. You know, the thing is like <clears throat> your call to action could be book an appointment and that lets you book with a therapist or if it's you click get matched, maybe that goes to a Calendly, you know, a calendar or whatever, an online calendar to book with your intake coordinator. That's how you get matched is on the phone. That's just way simpler and cleaner and like snappier. So I, I would honestly do something like that. <clears throat> Otherwise, great stuff, you know. You've got phone number here that can be clicked and called on mobile, email that opens up email, client login, which is great to have up here. Good stuff. Very, very good stuff. It's looking solid. And I bet you got a bunch of therapists. Yep, you do. Big, big practice, big group practice. And again, you're paying a marketing company to do their thing. So they're doing good stuff. And um, there's, there's my feedback for you. Again, it all starts with the problem. What's the problem? You know, if the problem your business solves is matching you with the right therapist, then that makes sense to have it there as your, your, your tagline. That's a problem with the mechanics of therapy and finding a good match. But the problem is, you know, disconnection, right? The problem is the opposite of deep connection, right? You know, extreme isolation, extreme disconnection, extreme discord with your partner, on and on. So, yeah, just a little, some little tweaks here and there. All right, let's go to this next one. ShePsychotherapy.com. Pretty catchy, um, pretty catchy URL. And guess what? Her name is Sarah Helen Epp, S-H-E. Would you look at that? <laughs> It's, it's very cute. It's a very cute brand name. The, pro, you know, the problem is, though, it, it's convenient. It's cute. But does it make sense? Because she therapy makes me think it's a practice for women, right? Or women identifying people, whatever. And that's not the case. So that's actually a little confusing to me. I, I actually kind of struggle with that. That's called brand confusion, right? We want to be striving for brand consistency, brand clarity. <clears throat> now, you have this video of, a, or like a GIF of clouds evolving, right? Rolling clouds, and the video starts over. It looks pretty, it looks dreamy, but you know, I, I don't, I think it should be a picture of a person, right? Or people, or of your avatar. I think it's, again, it's pretty, but it's a little distracting. Um, one thing I'm missing right away is, you know, in the menu, you have home, art therapy, and then services and contact. But what about meet Sarah? 
you know, about or meet Sarah or meet the team or whatever. So I'm really curious about that. Moving toward a happier version of you is the tagline, talk therapy and art therapy. Again, <clears throat> it, it's a little nonspecific. That'd be the only issue. So depending on your niche or whether you have considered niching down a little bit, you might want to think about that. Moving toward a happier version of you. Also, you could strengthen that a little bit. Like, okay, if I'm going to go to therapy and pay 150 bucks a week, that's 600 bucks a month for the next six months. And my result is moving toward a happier version of myself. I don't want to just move toward it. I want to arrive there. You know what I mean? I want to arrive and, and, and really crush this problem in my life. So something to think about. Schedule now. That could get very lost here. You got to be really careful with that. And the schedule now opens up her Jane uh, accounts. You might even be Canadian. So I like that call to action. Speaking of Jane, Jane's the sponsor of this show. Um, Jane is is a really wonderful all-in-one EHR for your business. It's a practice management software. They started in Canada, but they've been helping a lot of uh, um, uh, U.S.-based therapists in their private practices. They have amazing real customer service. People will actually get on the phone with you and help you with whatever you need using Jane. Uh, it's, it's a great platform, and we're really grateful that they sponsor this show, jane.app forward slash mental health. That's jane.app forward slash mental health. Use the code PPW1MO, as in month, for a one month off. Or you just mention me when you're getting set up. PPW1MO for one month off. You like how I just weave that in there? <clears throat> Welcome to a safe space to speak, share, and be heard. I just think we can do better than this. You know, everyone, every therapist provides a safe space, right? I think it's what people type when they don't know what to type. You know what I mean? So I would spend some more time with that. Who are you? What makes you different? What is your brand? What's your niche? How do you stand out? Think about, you know, from a story brand perspective, that that hero's journey. What problems, you know, are your... Um, uh, what what problems are your is your hero encountering? How can you help them through those problems? Um, so I would just yeah give some more thought to to that piece, and I think you'll be able to to find something. All right, we'll do a few more, and then probably wrap up. We'll go for about half an hour today. Oh, and this is interesting, right? At the very bottom, she has this um, logo, essentially, S-H-E, psychotherapy. And that's that's nice. You know, it clearly says something about the art piece. That's kind of like your logo, your icon here. And then you have this great color, which your whole site could be around that color. So I'd probably like to see the website branded around that logo, right, if that's your logo. Um, your site is on GoDaddy, which I don't recommend. I would honestly rebuild this site on Squarespace or WordPress like right away, especially if your site's kind of new or you don't have a lot of traffic yet. Um, GoDaddy is just not a great place to build a site. You want to go with one of the big ones, Squarespace or WordPress. So I'd probably go with that. Go with Squarespace if you're going to build it yourself. Also, there's some really amazing templates at golivehq.co. You can see in the URL here, if you want to use our code, we get a referral credit, whatever, John Clark 4. Um, but they have some really amazing templates and even new templates. I haven't seen this one. That's really nice. But you could get one of these and integrate it, you know, change the whole color scheme, add your logo, and have a really gorgeous site like in an afternoon. Like that looks amazing, right? You know, just that they're a few hundred bucks and then you're, you got a very nice looking custom site, essentially. So it's a great option. So again, that's golivehq.co. Right on. If you're in the chat, let me know if this is helpful. Let me know if you are here and want your website reviewed. Um, 
my uh, my producer Shana said that perhaps if you're putting links in the chat, they're getting blocked by YouTube, which is very likely. So maybe just let me know in the chat if you're here and you submitted your site, and I'll try to pull yours up. We've got no dudes, no guys who have submitted. It's always interesting, right? <clears throat> Let's see what else. Let's pull up a few more. Huh, okay, some of these are not working. Um, someone says I'm a guy, but did you submit your site? Karen's saying if you build your site and go live, do they also host? No, you just buy the template, install it into your Squarespace account, and then you're you're good to go. Where was I? What else? Okay, here we go. I'll do a few more. All right, let's go with Ryan's site. There is a, a guy here. Um, this is laketapscounseling.com, T-A-P-P-S, taps, wherever that is. We're going to find out. So there's Ryan there. We've got this nice um, map here. It's in Washington, Lake Taps, Washington. I bet that's a nice play. The first thing I noticed, Ryan, is there's just so much gray. There's so much gray. Um, and even the pictures are like black and white. The pictures of your staff are black and white, which I just don't like. It's making me feel more sad than I already am. We've had extremely gray weather in San Francisco, and this is very gray. I like this. Just notice how your eyes respond to that. You know, this here image, I'm guessing that's Lake Taps with some incredible snow-covered mountain in the background. So let's just go with the hero piece. Um, yeah, wild and wise, we're going to do that one next. Thanks for, for letting me know that you're here. Um, individual, individual teen and adult counseling. In person or video chat sessions available weekly. Insurance or out of pocket available. I mean, these are like frequently asked questions. You know, that's where they belong. And again, you, you know, you really need to think about that story brand journey piece and who are you speaking to and have an aspirational tagline here, like you know, whether it's about thriving or feeling calm or connected or living the life you always wanted or becoming who you are, whatever it's going to be, you know, moving past trauma, whatever, breaking through uh, addiction, whatever it is, what's the big promise? Because I think here you just didn't know what to say. So you talked about features of the product, right? It's like, if I'm thinking about like a, buying an iPad or something, and then I land and it's just like, feature 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 it's like whoa, whoa, whoa i'm just trying to see if ipad is going to like help my life first it's about transformation right so it's like is your service or product going to help trans transform my life uh, everything else looks okay you know the logo i think could be nicer especially if you've got the budget to do it you know you have a pretty big team here so your revenue is probably solid enough and so, yeah, I think you could do a bit of a rebrand here, a nice logo. Maybe you include that mountain in it. I don't know. Um, schedule now goes to a form, hush forms. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, again, I don't love this because I don't know what happens next if I submit it, right? If I submit it, are you going to call me right away? Are you Are going to call me three days from now? I need to know what happens after this. So you might want to think about that. And then, again, just contrast this button is just really dull. The color is really dull. And then again, black and white photos, black and white map, a lot of gray, you know, a lot of very sleepy colors. So you can use sleepy colors, but you want to contrast it and have something that really pops. Now, another problem is, you know, it says near you and I've got your address, your email, but what about phone? Can I call you guys? I'm old school. I want to call right now. I'm in a lot of pain. I want to call and I'll see that right away. I don't see a phone number anywhere. Actually, now I go to your Hush mail form, I don't see a phone number there anyway. So that, that's a huge problem to me. Huge problem. You're definitely losing business left and right from that. So you got some things to fix. <clears throat> Let's go to wild and wise. That's wildwisecounseling.com. 
Um, you know, it's a catchy name. I like the colors so far. I like the brand so far. Again, I'd like to see a picture of a person here, maybe a person with mountains in the background. Uh, big tagline, again, that big promise, quit the overwhelm. It's a little aggressive, but I can I can get down with it, you know. Quit the overwhelm, break free from the overwhelm. You know, it's like a little bit like I'm in trouble. Like, quit it. You quit it. Maybe that's just me. But it's in the right direction, and it is very clear and aspirational, and it's cool. It's catchy. Body-centered counseling, integrating neuroscience and your body's wisdom. That's a little much, a little bit of a mouthful, but okay. Um, again, colors look really good. If this is your logo, it's fine. You know, I think you could do more with it, have it a little more branded, a little more cute, but it's fine because your colors are so good. You can get away with it. Then you have kind of your statement of purpose here. So we help women find themselves again after giving to everyone else by ditching guilt, anxiety, and comparison. Yeah, pretty good statement of purpose. I tripped over these words here. We help women find themselves again after giving. And then I was like, giving what? After giving to everyone else by ditching guilt, anxiety, and comparison. It's good though. I mean, you have really good copy. And I guess the benefit of having such a short, you know, hero image is that you have. Um, more room to start your copy here. So it goes right into your copy. Nice copy, and you, know, you did a really great job with that. And then we have your mission, fantastic photo, like very warm, you're chilling, you're sitting on the ground. Looks really nice. I would bet your practice is doing quite well. Yeah, and down here I see what I wanna see, right? Ariel's um, uh, email address, call or text this number. You could have that be active, Ariel. Hopefully I'm saying your name right. So you just go into Squarespace and you add a link to your phone number and the link you just put, I think it's like T-E-L colon and then plus one and then your whole phone number with no spaces or no, nothing in between the numbers. And then we have in office, Charlotte, North Carolina, virtual nature therapy, walk and talk, accepting new patients. That's cool. Yeah, you could even, accepting new patients is very important information. So you might think about having that more prominent, right? like in the menu or in the, uh, like a little banner at the top. This is, you know, it's like October, 2022, it, it now accepting new patients. That would be really strong here. But uh, again, I like it. You got some really good stuff going for you here. About, meet Ariel. <clears throat> yeah, again, more great photos. Like you got your shoes off, you're chilling, you got this really warm office, really warm photos. Very well branded, you know. Um, one th thing, if I want to pick on you a little bit, you got to think about these colors here. You have this red and this orange. They're almost the same, but they are different. That's a little tricky to me. I think you might want to think about really picking kind of one or the other or just differentiating them a bit, you know, like a stronger red or a stronger orange. If I click on schedule, yeah, it goes to your simple practice widget, which is fine, either schedule a session or a 15-minute consultation. So, again, really good stuff. One thing you might do, Ariel, is um, if you have a an icon, think about this. Like the icon might be W and W, like W ampersand W. That little icon you can use in different places, like your favicon up here. So look in the browser. I know it's a Squarespace, like because you have this little square. That's a Squarespace logo, right, or whatever. So that could be your logo, and that's going to make it look even nicer. Those little details matter. You can see they have them on this site and on this site. So again, otherwise really good stuff. Like you've clearly really worked on your, your site. You have great service pages. Yeah, overall big fan of your site. Again, there's that orange and red again. I think they're conflicting. They're competing, I should say. But otherwise, just really good stuff. If I were your avatar, I'd probably reach out. Yeah, nice work. Really, really cool. All right, this is Margie, my friend Margie. I um, worked with Margie at one point. Um, let's see, let's see what's going on. So, um, Margie is very cool. She's very down to earth and we want to make sure her brand really reflects that. Right. First thing we see, and I think this is a brighter vision site. Yeah. Um, I don't, you know, I don't love how this is structured. Cause again, I like, I think the logo is massive. I think the logo could be 
tucked into that menu and have more pit, more room for more room for like her picture tagline etc she's got get started now but again i would like for that to be a button as always and then tagline is counseling that works right so if i'm playing dumb my guess is that you know she's kind of like a generalist right or maybe in a non-urban market focusing on you know you can see her services individual therapy couples therapy online therapy etc so um I think you have some good stuff going on. You know, you've got a nice picture. It's really good coloring. It's clearly a professional photo. Counseling that works. That solves a problem in a way. You know, it just comments on how, well, most therapy doesn't work. Therapy with Margie works, right? Um, so yeah, I, I think you have some good stuff going for you. I think the thing when you go with a company like Brighter Vision where they're building everything on a, you know, a select number of templates, all the sites end up looking a little bit the same and you're kind of limited to the template that they start you with. You got this pink down here. And again, I would want to see this pink a lot more if this is like your secondary color because see how much that pink pops. You really want to use that if that's your secondary brand color. All righty. Uh, maybe one or two more and then we'll, um, we'll keep rolling here. You know, uh, going to kansascompasscounseling.com that's compass counseling find direction for your life it's so hard to read that right so you have this dark kind of nature background and then you have black over top of it black font over top of it so you got to be careful with that um i think your site could use kind of a refresh um i like these colors like this solid gold it's like a deep gold color and then a deep blue those are fine um, but again, I think it just looks a little outdated with the format. And again, this is like an old school WordPress site. And yep, it's done by Therapy Tribe. So I don't know. I just don't like the templates. A lot of it's not working. It looks really outdated. You have like, you know, I can see half your head here from the hero. So that's really not working well for you. So I, I would move on to, you know, a, a fresher, more modern template if I were you. Again, call to action is not obvious here. I have contact me right here, but it just blends in with everything else. So, yeah, you got some some work to do. Um, all right, Bloss submitted his, but I don't know what your site is, dude. He says, mine's a really nice website, pretty please, but I don't know what your site is. You got to tell me your name in the chat because I think YouTube is blocking. If your comment was your link i think youtube is blocking it so if you can just let me know like your first name if you didn't already <clears throat> all right next one and then we'll do mr blahs or dr blah depending on your licensure um satya counseling and yoga.com so i'm landing and um, first thing I noticed, you know, that logo again, I bet it's really darn nice. I wish I could see it. I can't see it, right? The icon looks really nice. You got this blue and this little dotted thing. Looks really nice, you know, in the counseling and yoga, but the sizing is really messed up. So that's got to change. Now, the assumption I make is that this must be your, either your team or your avatars, right? These, these, these three ladies here. But I don't know that. I'm not sure tagline is for when you are ready to stop living in survival mode this is therapy that feels good so you know again just playing dumb an assumption there is that not all therapy feels good right or therapy feels bad and this is therapy that feels good we are different in that we do therapy that feels good that's just kind of an assumption that i think is being made with that piece of copy schedule your session today so yeah the call to action is good uh, you just got to be careful with that purple, you know, not popping a whole lot. Call to action there. Um, so, yeah, I think you got some good stuff going on. You know, you have some really good potential. It's just it needs some fine tuning. And then I think here you can also say like um, uh, you can also say 
what it is, right? So it's like counseling and yoga in Charlotte, North Carolina, or whatever it is, right? So that's what that kind of sub tagline would would help with is being able to say like what the business is. Otherwise, I, I don't know. All right. So, um, um, Mr. Blah, whose name is uh, Yadidia, I don't think you submitted. So this was people that were on our email list got notified of this. Um, that we are going to be breaking down some sites. Oh, there it is. It's right there. You did find it. <clears throat> All right, let's see what's going on here. Um, I have to be honest, it's not my favorite. You know, there's a lot going on. I, the colors don't really work. You know, it's like this pastel, but it's also like Neapolitan ice cream or whatever it's called. And then you have your logo here and it's taking up so much room. Um, so yeah, again, just starting with basics, it's like, who is this therapy practice for? What's the unique problem you solve? And for who, who's the unique person you're solving it for? having a picture of like your avatar here, get this logo into the menu where it belongs. It doesn't need to be so prominent. Um, let's see if this is, was this built by someone or was it built by you? Um, maybe it was built by you. I just, you know, I just don't think these colors are working for you. It's just, it's just way too much. It's, it's, it's just not working. You know, again, not trying to be mean, but trying to be direct and helpful and, I've looked at hundreds of therapist sites at this point, you know, you got all these colors here, which again are really competing with each other. Like, you know, my, one of my best friends is my graphic designer. He's got like degrees in mass in, in, uh, in graphic design and they spend years studying color theory. And I bet this is breaking all sorts of rules, <laughs> you know, and probably not in a good way. Um, so then you have here, you know, that really bright color, which is super conflicting with these. So, my recommendation is to sit down with a designer, hire a good marketing company to do it, to do everything for you. You know, a couple that we really like are um, simpleandsoulful.com. That's Deanna. She built a site for my practice. It's called Calm Again Counseling. So she's got some gorgeous sites here that just make you feel good and they just look so darn good. You'll see our site somewhere down here. Um, I've had a lot of my clients go through her. There's our site there on the left. You know, really nice, beautiful, simple, consistent colors. Also, our, you know, another place we send people is artillerymedia.com. They do really good work. Um, let's look at drhoneymom.com and see what she's up to. Really nice, nicely done, nicely branded. You got these two colors, the blue and this yellow thing. The icon is consistent. It's branded around this honey idea, right? It's just it's just legit. There's that blue again. So, you know, you're a professional. I want you to have a nice professional site that that really, you know, that you feel good about and that is gonna convert. So I think you might have done it yourself. Okay, he's saying it's Wix. I hate Wix. It's really kind of a Bobo site builder. Um, again, the two big ones, Squarespace, WordPress. I think it needs to be one of those. If you really want a good site that'll be taken seriously and is going to make you money, you know, you're going to build a business that's going to make you $100,000 a year and more. Spend 10 grand on a website, you know, that's 10% of your yearly revenue. So, we try to cut corners a lot of times and we pay for it now and later, you know, by cutting those corners. So <clears throat> that would be my advice. Um, and there you have it. Uh, I hope this was helpful guys. You know, um, as a reminder, if you want more help, a really easy thing to do is to go to privatepracticeworkshop.com. You can book a, a, a consult with me, basically a session with me an initial session. For 199 bucks, you just go to privatepracticeworkshop.com, click on work with me, 
And then on the right, you'll see individual coaching, special offer, 199 bucks for an initial session with me, where we can actually look at your stuff. We can look at any part of your business, whether it's your marketing or anything else. And, uh, and then from there, if you want to talk about you know a coaching package where we work together every two weeks for three months or more, then um, we can always talk about that. But that's a great place to, to get some help. Um, yeah, that's it for now. We'll be back in a week. Let's see who's on the, the, the schedule. Um, it looks like it'll be another solo episode next week. That's next Thursday, the 20th, 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern and everything in between. So there you go. Thanks for being here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and um, I will see you in the next one. Take care. See you later. Bye.